And this problem along with the king, who thoughts is being thrown to platform. Now instead of being a horizontal projectile off a platform, it's going to be a free fall. Because while we do have y direction downward, an x component, we're going to uh, not consider the x component, so it's only y direction downward. Now in question A, we're trying to find the final velocity. In the problem, it gives us acceleration, initial velocity, and time. So we use the equation final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time to get the final velocity, which is negative 46.06 meters per second. In part B, we know that whichever velocity that a line reaches is negative 40 meters per second. It's negative because we know that the line is going downward. Um, so in part B, it's asking us how long will it take them to reach the terminal velocity of negative 40 meters per second. Um, so we would use the equation uh, Vf equals Vi plus A times uh, acceleration times time. The reason why we're not going to use negative 46.06 meters as our final velocity is because it's asking for the time it reaches for the final velocity of 40 meters per second. So we would plug negative 40 equals 0 plus negative 9.8 times time. And the time would give us is 4.08. In part D, I mean part C, um, it asks us about the height of the cliff from, from which we fossil fell from. And we have acceleration, time, initial velocity, and time. Okay. So we will plug in everything and we get 108 meters, 108.24 meters for the height of the cliff. And so we know that in part D, it's, we're going to just imagine that we see the lion just coming down, like, like as, soon as, as soon as he's about to hit the ground. Um, so we know that the velocity, as soon as, in this, in this scenario, we're going to assume that the final velocity right before it hits the ground is negative 40 meters per second. Um, we, we know the height of the cliff, which is 108.24, and um, we know the initial velocity. Now in part D, it's asking us at what time will he reach the ground, knowing that this will be the final velocity. So we would use um, D equals V average times time. We would plug everything in, and the time would end up being 5.14 seconds. The reason why this time is different from the total time it took him originally is because in this ideal scenario, they're not taking acceleration into consideration. They're not. They're. They're. They're thinking that the the entire time the lion is falling from the cliff, it's at a constant velocity, um, which is why this time is different from the from the time it took him. Now, the last question: How long until you cry? E took me about five seconds to start crying. Tops. Um, it took me just when he was begging his brother to save him. <laughs> and I didn't cry at all. <laughs>